I am so excited to show you guys the lifecycle building tool. In this video, we're going to go over the configuration settings around a life cycle. We're going to look at how to build a life cycle campaign, and we're going to look at how to get subscribers into and deploying life cycle campaigns. So let's look real fast at some of the configuration settings. We have campaign types, phases, and categories. Consider campaign types as a broader picture of all of your emails. And all three of those categories, campaign types, and phases, these are like filters that we're assigning to our campaigns, all of them, whether they be transactional, newsletter, life cycle. Currently, we're just going to be using these for life cycle, but you'll see coming down the road that these will be really helpful with reporting in the future. Now, these are standard campaign types. If you'd like to add your own, of course you can. What kind of categories? What kind of category is your life cycle? Is this a welcome series? Is this the birthday message? Maybe this is part of a win back um, category. Of course, you can add some of your own. And then for phases, what phase is that life cycle in? Is this part of a acquire uh, acquisition program or a retention program? So when we're building our life cycle, you'll see that these are really helpful with uh, assigning um, where these life cycles actually. So let's go ahead and uh, build our own campaign. You'll see I have several here already. These are all active. If I wanted to edit one, I could just deactivate it and then I could click on it and make all the changes I want and then come back and make it active again. To add a new life cycle, this is where that categories, campaign type, and phases come in. So we'll say this is part of a welcome series, and it's a life cycle, and we're in the growth phase. We saw it created that on my table there. I just clicked it. So the first thing we want to do, is we want to deploy an email. So I'm going to click deploy email, drag it over. And I'm going to select my template. We're going to call this this is our welcome. We're going to select the properties from our list definitions. And then we're going to give it a subject line. What do we want to do after that? We want to wait a period of time. So I want to wait, say, two days. Then after two days, I want to check and see who opened or didn't open. And then depending on what they want, what they've done, I might send another email. So let's say I'm looking at the opens. If they open within a certain period of time, or after a certain period of time. I want it to go out as soon as they open. So we'll say one hour. I'm going to deploy the second one. Again, getting the branding. Now you can see as I'm building this out and I'm trying to figure out what how it is I want my campaign to, to move, I'm able to move these all around on the stage. So maybe that's it. I just want to send two for the yeses. 
those being active openers. And then I'm done here. But what do I do with the nose? So maybe I'll wait another day. Just in case. And then maybe I'll send them another email. Now there are a few other things I could do after this. Maybe I also want to send an alert to somebody on my team internally. Maybe I want to send uh, the sales rep or a customer service at my company. So at the same time I'm sending out the email to my subscribers, I'm also sending an email to my internal team. Now from here I could move them to another life cycle where maybe I am nurturing them um, in another life cycle that I have already set up. And that's an end. Uh, they'll just go on over to that life cycle. Or maybe I want to then remove them from a list. Maybe I just want to opt them out so that I don't have inactives on my list. You know, thinking about uh, list growth and uh, engagement. Or maybe I don't want to do any of those and I just want to end it. So you can see there are a lot of different functionalities, uh, action types that we have over here, um, including things like wait until. So if you're doing um, a, a holiday campaign uh, and you want the first set to go out uh, earlier uh, in the year, but then you want the next part of it, uh, maybe you want to reward people who uh, were very active in the early holiday engagements, you want to give them um, some ongoing rewards, but you don't want to do it too close to the, uh, you want to do it much closer rather to holiday time. So with that, you have a date and a time that you can insert. Or maybe instead of opens, you want to look at clicks. Same options, the link as well as the um, continued within or after. So once you have your lifecycle campaign all set up, now how do you get subscribers into your lifecycle? A few different ways. You'll notice we've added uh, on our lists menu, when you're creating a list, We actually now, under Options, when somebody's added to this list, we can add them to a lifecycle campaign. Also, when we're importing our subscribers, we can import into a lifecycle campaign. Now, this is asking if we want to uh, import into the life cycle that was defined in the list that we created um, that we've chosen here or do we want to uh, import into a specific life cycle campaign so then to deploy a life cycle campaign it's just like deploying any other campaign 
we'll choose our life cycle and then the life cycle campaign we can also do this from the calendar So that was a very quick uh, high overview of our lifecycle campaign builder. I hope that it was helpful. You can learn a lot more from the lifecycle learning center.